stop looking at all these sneaker collection videos if you are in school thinking it would be nice to have them because in school you only need three they don't have to be expensive because the three that i'm showing you are all 150 dollars or less that's the budget for today so let's go over the three sneakers that you need for school the first one i probably will never get tired of and that is going to be some new balance 550s now i know you might be thinking these are played out i think the silhouette's a classic and will never die out but more importantly this will go with anything you decide to wear if it's in the color white or even off-white the colors you wear don't matter the silhouette of the clothes that you are wearing doesn't matter either whether it's pants or shorts and let's be real or baggy pants don't really look good with slim shoes but the new balance 550 is the perfect in between no matter what you wear these will go good with that now look when it comes to new balance 550s the prices range because there are plenty of colorways out there so look even though the shoe's a little played out it doesn't really matter because there's still plenty of colors to choose from that you probably haven't even seen just to prove it to you let's go ahead and check them out let's go in the go app search up new balance 550s and here you have plenty of different colorways that look good now i personally gravitate towards white shoes or off-white shoes but let's just switch it up for the time being because honestly my shoe collection is getting filled up with white shoes i'm a really big fan of these white pine greens i also love the color brown i would definitely pick these up if it wasn't for the n i don't know what it is i just don't like the way the n in new balance looks right here also this one is 200 bucks so it's probably gonna be the more expensive one but scroll down something like turtle doves only 104 dollars now i'm not gonna lie to you the ones that i've been eyeing the most are the ones from amy lee on door so let's go back to the search bar search up amy leon door here we have plenty of ones that come up i'm a really big fan of this gray colorway these are 150 dollars exact and truthfully since i'm suggesting it to you why not pick it up myself now you may be wondering is this entire video just an excuse just to pick up these shoes that is a question that may never be answered but in the meantime my order is placed okay so it's been about three days since i got these let me tell you i love them now the suede caught me a little bit off guard because it's a little bit more rough but it definitely grew on me it looks a little bit more rugged and therefore a lot better for a streetwear shoe it's a detail that you don't really see too often. Now, just in general, I love New Balance 550s and truly this shoe is making my obsession that much more. Now, because of this shoe, I wanna pick up so many different New Balance 550s, but let me know if you think I'm tripping or not. That being said, I'm gonna be wearing this shoe everywhere. I love that I can wear it with a bunch of different colors and it's always going to look good. All right, the next one is gonna be some Puma Slipstreams. I quite literally would never get tired of this shoe. I've had this for about three months now and always receive compliments every time I wear them. Now, as of lately, these have been my go-to shoes. I wear them everywhere and with anything because if we're only having three sneakers, then you need to make them versatile and this one is one of the most versatile shoes in my wardrobe now i like it because they're pretty much three different shades of white so it's something a little bit different and yet they're still a very low-key shoe because a lot of people don't freak out about pumas the same way they freak out about jordan once and that's good it's something low-key but still making you stand out a lot because like i said i do receive a lot of compliments with this one they're surprisingly pretty comfortable but the best part about these shoes they are very affordable now, the ones that i got are a collab with ami paris but that did make it a little bit more expensive because if you want the normal ones they're even more affordable and again let's go ahead and check these out puma slipstreams i can't spell apparently so honestly i'm not a big fan of the first ones that come out but there's some more low-key ones for example the white gums these honestly look great but look the thing that i like more than the actual shoe is the price my size size nine is only 94 dollars and let's be real most shoes around 100 dollars everybody knows them in fact if you look up a video about the best shoes under 100 dollars most of the shoes are all going to be the same but one that nobody really talks about are these so again underrated if they still stand out and scrolling down if you like these colors and these are pretty cool these slip streams they're interesting i honestly never seen them personally don't know if i personally would wear them but again it doesn't really matter what i think if you like a shoe then wear it so chances are you could probably style this a lot better than i probably would i'm actually a big fan of this one i like the brown colorway and like i've said plenty of times already brown is a really good color to be wearing in the fall so this would be a good option look there's plenty and all of them are less than a hundred dollars if not around that so that initial 150 dollars that i was talking about if you're on a budget definitely check out these slip streams and the next shoe that you need is reebok club c now honestly the most popular colorway and one that i really like is the off-white colorway but don't let that fool you because they have plenty of different colorways just like most shoes on this list now look like i said most of the time i gravitate towards white shoes because they quite literally go with everything but one of the few pairs that i have that are in the color black are these reebok club c's granted they are a little bit dirty but i always say that you need a comfortable pair of shoes and the most comfortable pair of shoes that i own that are still casual so they're not completely a running shoe are the Reebok Club C85s. And again, one of the more affordable shoes on the list. But like every other shoe that we checked out, let's check it out on Go to see the different colorways. Look at that, there are plenty. Now we'll say the preference that I have are gonna be the vintage ones. These look better than the normal ones in my opinion. And quite honestly, ones that I need in my personal wardrobe. And these Royal Blues definitely are catching my attention and I probably might need to pick it up very soon. It's only 75 bucks, so let me know what you think. The chalk green right here, also a good option. You can't go wrong with this. This vintage navy one does look really good and it's reminding me a lot of my Oliver Cabells. These are Oliver Cabells. I'm a really big fan of these and I definitely recommend it. 
but these are a little bit out of the price range that I recommend to most teens. So again, going to school, let's recommend the more affordable things. Reebok Club C85s are gonna be the best ones for that price range. So I can scroll down forever and see a bunch of different colorways that I enjoy. Look, if I find a brown one, I will probably have to pick it up. These are interesting. I've actually never seen these. Look, I can't tell you how many times I've mentioned the fact that I love shoes that I don't really see too often. And this is a good variation of that. I already bought one pair of shoes today. I don't wanna label myself an addict and buy multiple. Well, with that being said, I went to the mall, decided, you know what? I might check out a few Reebok Club C85s in person. And what do you know? The thing that I was looking for the most, a pair in brown, I ended up finding. It retailed at $90. So you know what? No time like the present. Random price came out to $97. This is one of the best pickups I've had for under $100 in a very long time. This is going to work perfectly with my fall wardrobe. And of course, the versatility. You could throw this on with a bunch of different colored pants or even shorts, and it's going to look good. Brown, black, cream, and of course, your normal crew socks. But look, the details on Reebok Club C85s has suede leather. Even the laces being a cream brown so yes i am going to be wearing this a lot throughout the fall and honestly you should pick this up and be wearing it all throughout school because this one is one of the best shoes to pick up and one of the three that you need going back to school if you want to see a review or maybe just another video about the best shoes under a hundred dollars then let me know but look if there's one thing i learned about buying a bunch of different shoes is chances are you're buying a lot of shoes off impulse and you're not going to be wearing them as much as you would like or even as much as you would think only pick up the shoes that you know you're going to wear a ton of i bought the new balance 550s because i've owned a pair already i love them they were too cooked and I wanted a different colorway. Look, I'm starting to sweat in my room, so I need to go. But if you want to know the only three pairs of pants that you need in your wardrobe, I have a video that's going to show you exactly that. But other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Later.